Welcome back, I'm James McPherson filling in for Peter Credlin. Well, we knew it was happening. We've been reporting it here on Sky News for months. Now there's data to back it up. I'm talking about the rise in anti-Semitism in Australia since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7. A report out today from the Executive Council of Australian Jury shows reports of serious incidents of anti-Semitism have risen 738%. The country's peak Jewish body says that's just the tip of the iceberg, with many more incidents going unreported. Dr David Adler is the President of the Australian Jewish Association and he joins me now. David, great to have you in the studio. Thank you. These figures, 738% rise in anti-Semitism, does it surprise you? Um, what surprised us and actually shocked us was the explosion of anti-Semitism that occurred since the 7th of October. We always knew in Australia, like everywhere else, there was a grumbling bit of anti-Semitism, mainly on the fringes. Um, Australia had a pretty good reputation, but there's been um, multiple, multiple types of incidents occur. And I suspect that the actual report that you're referencing uh, understates it. Um, our organisation has received many dozens of threats and reports of incidents. Some people want to report it, some people don't. Right. So um, there, there is a lot out there and it's been a, a bit of a game changer in terms of anti-Semitism. Some Australia. of the examples in the report are truly horrifying. There's mm. synagogues that have had uh, bomb threats. There's sure. Jewish businesses, uh, Jewish-owned shops that have been vandalised. And then there's numbers of death threats, which I believe you personally have experienced quite frightening death threats. Can you talk to us about that? You're, you're right. I, I have received a significant death threat. Um, it was an unusual way of getting it. Someone actually typed up a long, rambling uh, letter uh, full of obscenities, uh, included terms like, you know, I know where you live, I will hunt you down and kill you. Uh, it was sent to um, the office of the Australian Jewish Association and uh, the police have looked into it, um, doing forensic analysis uh, on it. Um, hopefully the police will uh, catch the person responsible, but at this stage, um, not likely. I'm struck by your bravery to speak out as you do when you're subjected to that sort of abuse and, and threat level. Can you talk to me, not just about yourself, but the Jewish community generally? Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty difficult for those of us who are non-Jews to appreciate what it must be like. What is it like for Jews right now in Australia? Uh, look, it's been um, said that if you ask a Jewish person the usual opening question in a conversation, how are you feeling, are you okay, whatever it is, uh, if they're able to open up to you, they will uh, tell you, no, we're not okay. Um, we're not okay with having the sort of incident that occurred in Israel where uh, the largest massacre of Jewish people since the Holocaust has occurred. And the community in Australia, just about all of us, have friends or family uh, in Israel. Mm. And we're not okay with what's happening in Australia, with the intimidation, with the harassment, with the threats. Um, it, it, it is un-Australian. Uh, it, it's something that we don't want to see in a liberal democracy. And we're hoping that the authorities will listen to us and take certain initiatives to get on top of it very quickly. One of the most horrifying incidents of anti-Semitism we saw after October 7 was on October 9. It didn't take long on the steps of the Opera House when people were chanting, gas the Jews. Now, that video evidence has been given to police for investigation. I can't believe we're still waiting for something to be done about that. But in the meantime, Crikey have published an article with claims that um, it's difficult to verify whether it was gas the Jews that was actually said. And now Labor MP Stephen Lawrence has suggested, well, it might have been AI that was used to alter the clip, so it sounded Rubbish. like gas the Jews. Now, you're shaking your head in disgust. Absolutely. Uh, what's your response to those claims and how does that make you feel? Well, we, we know that uh, there is a trend um, which is, I, I guess, Holocaust denial type of thinking where for some reason um, people who want to undermine uh, the Jewish community uh, say that uh, the horrific events didn't happen. Uh, we've seen it in Israel lately 
where people deny the evidence of the Hamas atrocities. And so it's happening with the video evidence of what has happened at right. the Opera House. I have seen the videos. I have also recently seen the unedited raw video. Um, I know it was circulated to numerous media organisations internationally, not one of which has questioned the authenticity. So we have this odd group uh, in Crikey, and frankly, um, it's already been debunked. Mm. Uh, the raw video has been looked at. It was broadcast on Sky uh, yesterday by Shari Markson. It has exactly the same audio as the first clip that was released. Uh, we have a number of witnesses who heard the guests the Jew chant, uh, one of whom uh, we've released their statement, a video statement on our social media. So there are witnesses, there are videos, there is verification from other media organisations, and, and still some people are denying it. That says a lot more about the people than it does about uh, the video that demonstrates it. Uh, the denials are abhorrent, and it's shocking to me that police still haven't charged anybody over yes, that incident. David Adler, always appreciate your time. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, James.